hello students welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss about a crop coefficient crop coefficient one of the student he was asking so what is crop coefficient what is its use and how uh, we can just interpret crop crop coefficient okay so uh, before going to discuss about this crop coefficient that is represented as kc uh, let me just briefly introduce to this term because most of the students they do not know what crop coefficient is and where it is being used before going to start uh, about what crop coefficient is uh, let me just uh, ask you what is evapotranspiration and how it is relevant for a uh, crop production aspect what is evapotranspiration how it is represented why it is uh, evapotranspiration why not evaporation and transpiration uh, so just uh, tell me what is evaporation evaporation is the removal of water or evaporation is the transfer of water from water droplet to water vapor from any water body and this is below boiling point temperature evaporation is from any water surface if the water is uh, transfer from water droplet to water vapor below at below boiling point temperature and what is transpiration this is called evaporation what is transpiration transpiration is the loss of water from plant canopy right so we cannot differentiate in the field condition we cannot differentiate this evaporation and transpiration that's why we just uh, mention it as evapotranspiration okay there are different types of evapotranspiration one is crop evapotranspiration that is uh, how much water that is um, that is lost through crop canopy as well as the soil cover uh, in the place where we are growing crop right that is crop evapotranspiration that may be a daily basis that may be in seasonal basis right that is et crop then one is reference evapotranspiration that what does it mean what is reference evapotranspiration this is represented as et0 what does it mean reference evapotranspiration mean suppose this is an area suppose this is an area here there is no water surface and water is readily available water is readily available in this place and we are diff growing different uh, grasses in such a way that the total area is covered with the grass canopy okay extensively uh, we are growing grasses here and those are having uh, around 12 to 15 centimeter actively growing grasses okay we are growing so in this place with unlimited water supply and total uh, ground cover covered by uh, the actively growing grasses then whatever evapotranspiration will be from this place that is known as reference evapotranspiration okay that is known as reference evapotranspiration so basically the def uh, the definition of uh, reference evapotranspiration is it is the evapotranspiration from an extensively sur extensive surface of green grass of uniform height that is 12 cm actively growing completely shedding the ground with an albedo average albedo is 0.23 and not sort of water that means water is sufficient so that is called reference evapotranspiration and that is denoted as et0 okay that is et0 so how et0 is being measured et0 is being measured with uh, either empirical formula either empirical different scientists they have proposed different empirical formula like blanick riddle method blanick riddle empirical method okay what is the formula that is et0 is equal to c into p into 0.46 t plus 8 okay this is blanick riddle formula then another is thornthwaite method thornthwaite method okay thornthwaite method what is thornthwaite method that is e is equal to 1.6 into 10 t uh, divided by i to the power a this is thornthwaite method so i'm no, not going to discuss this uh, the different empirical method for assessing et0 in today's lecture because our today's lecture the main topic is crop coefficient we'll discuss so this is a brief idea brief uh, history of crop coefficient how it is being used so other empirical formula to assess the et0 is like radiation method radiation method what is radiation method that is et0 is equal to 
C into W into RS that is radiation method uh, then uh, another one is modified Penman method modified Penman method okay what is this C into W into RN uh, C into W into RN plus 1 minus W into FU into EA minus ED this is modified Penman method okay this is mostly used because so many parameters we are taking to assess the ET0 so this is more accurate okay another one is pan evaporation meter meter pan evaporation this is the simplest one evaporation okay so uh, what is the formula that is ET0 ET0 is equal to K pan into E pan okay what does it mean so here we use mostly uswb open pan evaporometer uswb class a open pan evaporometer you can find this in uh, different agro meteorological observatory whether you are working in different national institute or you are uh, your state agricultural universities you can find uswb class a open pan evaporometer so how to take reading of uh, reading and use uh, use it for assessing it is zero so basically we have to take the reading that is evaporation pan evaporation reading so what is the mm of water that is being evaporated in a day then we have to multiply it into uh, pan coefficient that is generally considered as 0 0.7 so from this value we can find it is zero this is one method this is the simplest one so uh, then uh, the things come that is crop coefficient what is crop coefficient so where it is being used crop coefficient basically if we want to convert the ET0 into ET crop, so we found the ET0. What is ET0? We knew. Okay. What is ET0? That is reference evapotranspiration. So, how we can assess the crop ET from this ET0? How we can assess the crop ET? ET crop, that means ET crop is equal to this. Here we use crop coefficient Kc into ET0. We found we assessed ET0 by using this formulas or uh, this different, uh, you know, uh, either pan evaporation meter or modified pen man method or radiation method. These methods are being utilized or used for assessing the ET0 if reference evapotranspiration. If we multiply the crop coefficient value into reference evapotranspiration, then we can find ET crop that is the crop evapotranspiration. Actually, uh, what is the amount of evapotranspiration from crop area right so this value this crop coefficient is equal to if we convert it like crop coefficient is will be et crop divided by et0 so basically crop coefficient is equal to crop coefficient is equal to et crop or that is the evapotranspiration uh, by crop divided by ET0 that is the reference evapotranspiration that is the reference evapotranspiration okay so basically crop coefficient has a no unit and mostly this value varies from 0 to 1 mostly okay in some exceptions like uh, like in case of rice banana which are most water intensive crops like rice banana these are the most water intensive crop here the value uh, may reach up to 1 or maybe 1.1 1.2 like that but the crop coefficient value generally for other crops it varies from 0 to 1 so uh, how this variation happens okay how this variation happens so basically a, a crop has four different phases a crop when we grow a crop okay starting from its germination to its harvesting there are four different stages a crop encounters four different stages what are they one is initial one is crop development phase development phase one is mid season phase another is late season phase okay what is initial phase initial phase phase means from planting to 10 percent of ground cover okay suppose here we are planting so and this is 100 percent from initial that means planting to 10 percent of this ground cover that is called initial phase okay then crop development phase crop development phase means 10 percent ground cover to flowering okay 10 percent ground cover to flowering that is called crop development phase what is mid-season phase then 
मेड सीजन मीन्स फ्लावरिंग टू मैच्योरिटी फ्लावरिंग टू maturity that is called mid season phase then late season phase means maturity to senescence that is the death okay so this is how a crop growth happens right these are the uh, duration or crop growing period they are broadly classified into four different stages uh, so basically in case of annual crops this this crop coefficient value this crop coefficient value this is very less uh, during the initial period why why this is less what is crop coefficient for that we have to understand crop coefficient what is crop coefficient this is the crop et that means evapotranspiration done by crop divided by reference evapotranspiration so reference evapotranspiration is all, will always be higher why because here uh, the the area the land area that is fully covered with the actively growing grasses okay actively growing means there will be no disease there will be uh, no pest attack there will be no Uh, you know space available okay that means they are actively growing they are actively transferring they are actively photosynthesizing right but crop it in case of field crops when we are growing crops there is the disease infestation there uh, some plant will be of less vigor some plant uh, there will be uh, a resting phase okay so it crop will always be uh, most of the case it crop will be less than it zero so in the initial period it will be very less so crop coefficient will be uh, very less in the initial period of development okay initial period of crop growth and development like seedling stage emergence stage and establishment stage then it increases with increase in ground cover when the crop ground cover the canopy ground cover increases there of when the ground cover increases the it will obviously higher okay so they are the crop coefficient increases because it of crop will be directly proportional to the crop coefficient right so when the it of crop the ground coverage of crop will be higher the it of crop will be higher then the crop coefficient will be higher okay so uh, it will be maximum at the mid season stage like flowering up to flowering during flowering it will be maximum then also during flowering so let me draw a quick graph for you so this is a graph like uh, this is crop coefficient and this is the uh, time duration of the crop duration of the crop okay so basically initially the crop coefficient will be linear then it will increase okay then it will increase then it will be in the mid season it will be linear then it will decrease so this is the first stage that is we have discussed the initial phase it will be lower then it will increase in the second stage that is the crop development stage that is the 10% ground cover to flowering in flowering the the kc value will be higher that is the mid season stage the kc value will be higher and then in the late season stage the kc value will also decline okay so for most of the crops so all of you clear what is kc value what is crop coefficient that is the et crop divided by et0 so whatever evapotranspiration we are getting in the crop field itself divided by what is the reference evapotranspiration that is the kc value it has no unit and the value mainly uh, in most of the crops that varies from 0 to 1 a uh, few exception you can find like uh, rice banana because they are highly water intensive crops they are the value can exceed or may exceed uh, one okay so if we draw a graph between crop coefficient value and the duration of the crop then according to stage in the initial stage the crop coefficient value will be lower why it will be lower because there will be limited ground cover there will be limited transpiration rate okay because the uh, crops are very you know little uh, like 10% ground cover that means uh, lower leaf development and lower transpiration rate then it will increase in the crop development stage what is crop development stage that is 10% ground cover to flowering then at the flowering time the uh, kc value will be higher then it will decline towards the late season because there will be leaf fall there will be no active growth right so it will decline so in case of annual crop especially the crop coefficient value is typically low in seedling emergence and establishment stage it increases with increase in ground cover and attains maximum value at mid season stage and thereafter decreases towards ripening and maturity stage for most of the crops for most of the crops remember the value for total growing period Uh, that the crop coefficient value will be 0.85 to 
for most of the crop it is the value is 0 0.85 to 0 0.9 okay with certain exception like uh, as i mentioned like rice banana in general crop coefficient is higher in hot windy and dry climates than cool calm and humid climates why why in hot and windy and dry climates the crop coefficient value will be higher because the transpiration rate and evaporation rate basically the et of crop will be higher in those areas right then crop coefficient value also varies uh, with difference in reflectivity with difference in reflectivity then crop height okay uh, roughness of the crop a degree of ground cover as we already mentioned then can canopy resistance to transpiration so these factors also affect crop coefficient i hope all of you clear about what is crop coefficient and how it is being used and what are the different types of evapotranspiration we have also discussed in this lecture if you face any doubt uh, regarding any topic then you just let me know in the comment section as soon as possible i will make a lecture